It's happened. Hello, Titch. Joe Linton Hello, is Shine. staying at Newcastle for the long term. Hello everyone, it's uh, NFTV's Dan Byrne and Ryan Fraser here. Back, you're back from your loan spell at Southampton. How did it go? Well, I'm taller than Ryan Fraser, thankfully by about three inches. So, I don't know what you're smaller than Dan Byrne. Only by an inch or two. But anyway. Every inch counts. <laughs> but, uh, there's a joke in there somewhere. Anyway, everyone, the big news has finally broken. Joe Linton has signed a new four-year contract at Newcastle United. What a relief. I Were you surprised though? Because I wasn't. Because there was some um, murmurs going about a couple of months ago. You know, he's played his last game for Newcastle. Well, may have played his last game. The reports were. I didn't believe that. I think he loves it here. I think he's grown as an individual and as a player as well. Not mention he's obviously Bruno's best man at his wedding, which we all thought would be Paqueta. But Joe Lutton got the, uh, the nod for that. So I think he's happy. I think he's settled. You know, Bruno's having kids, Joe Lytton's had kids, they're, you know, they're all having Geordies. I mean, it was a very serious rumour, really, that, that um, you know, it was a very serious situation that he may well leave this summer, um, because that would have been down to his final 12 months. Mm. First round of talks, which would have been with Dan Ashworth. Um, Who? Exactly, proved fruitless. Had a bit of a break, Amanda Stavely took over with Darren Eels and Murdad, and they've got the job done. Um, is this a bit of a sticking two fingers up from Amanda Mood and, and Darren Eels to Dan Ashworth? Yes and no. I think I think he would have signed anyway. So like I was pretty confident, but you know Dan Ashworth is uh, still planting seeds, literally, as we speak. Um, no pun intended. It's the right but... time of year, exactly. You have to get your shrub potatoes in the ground, guys. You know better than me. But I think, you, as I say, I think it would have already happened, Sam. So. Um, Delighted, but if he didn't, he would have been sold. Yeah, absolutely, he would have done. Um, his demands apparently were to, were to bring him in with line with the top earners of the rest of the squad. It's the biggest redemption story in Newcastle United history because, you know, in some parallel universe somewhere where he's still a stinker of a number nine, we'd be praying and, and seeing if we could get rid of him now for dirt cheap I always remember Johnny saying after yeah, his first year at the club just about to bring that up. Johnny would, would have snapped Jand off for 9 million for Big Joe but the biggest redemption story as I say in Newcastle United history that switch to midfield and whilst he's been missing with injury he's proved his worth and, and it, it, I suppose it's right that he comes in line with the, the top earners at the club I think the biggest credit has to go to Kieran Clark. that's Kieran Clark's legacy isn't it he made Joe Lytton obviously that red card against Joe Lytton and against Norwich what did I just say there? Red card against Joe Linton. <laughs> Edit that out, he's not, you'll keep that I'm out. I'm not editing that out. His red card against Norwich, and obviously Pookie scored later on, which was a little bit deflated that game, but, you know, you put it in the midfield that meeting, and it was like, all right, let's try it again, and then obviously he's become a beast mode, and Eddie Howe talked about it recently, that he's unique, and he's, you don't see many midfielders of his structure and his power. You know, I, I can't even think off the top of my head, you probably have to all go all the way back to maybe a Patrick Vieira, or uh, a... Papa Bubba Diop, God rest his soul. Uh, yeah, it, it's massive. Brings such balance to that left hand side, doesn't he? Um, him and Joe Willock be fighting for a place, um, you would think, when uh, Tonali is back fit. But he also has that um, versatility element to his game where he can play wide left. Yeah, and it's also, you know, you've got the, the emergence of Lewis Miley this season as well. So, competition for players, you know, we've been stretched with injuries this season. We've just having just three centre midfielders fit and you know, we've got Willock out, we had Joe Lytton out and we had Tonali suspended so come the summer there's competition for places and it also you know I've already expressed this on the channel recently that Dan Byrne hasn't got much cover on that left wing Anthony Gordon bring going forward I think looked better when Willock came back yeah. uh, the other week didn't it yeah because Willock and Joe Lytton will help Dan Byrne and cover that as well Gordon to his credit is bring going forward in the contender mm. for our player of the season but Defensively, we're more secure with the other two playing, so bring it on. Let us know what you guys think about Joe Linton's new contract. Would you have sold him in the summer? And no, if you of did, course you wouldn't. If you did, how much is he worth now? Wow, wow, wow. There's a question. There is a question. How much is Joe Linton worth now? I, I expect this to be universally popular, this new four-year contract. And uh, hopefully, 
Injuries aside, we don't know how he's going to come back from his injury, but you expect he'll be full beast mode, won't he, when he, when he finally returns. If we Business. get to see him at the, uh, at the end of this season, who knows? Business as usual. You would hope and so. And also, just before we finish the video as well, remember Joel Linton sought, sought out a, like a, what is it, a development course to work on his own game away from the club, Nat Soldier how much he wanted to improve. Massive character, it's like has grown so much since he's been at Newcastle. I just miss him starting on people, it's meant. Oh yeah, yeah. even in pre-season friendlies at Benfica, <laughs> let's take on the world. Love Big Joe, such great news that he's signed. Let us know what you guys think in the comments, hit that like button, and of course stay tuned to Newcastle Fans TV.